Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining the matrix minima method. So, let's get started. Now, here we have the question for the matrix minima method in which we have three factories F1, F2, F3, three warehouses W1, W2 and W3 where we have to supply the material from one place to another. Then, the total supply for factory F1 is 200, for F2 it is 160, F3 it is 90. Warehouse 1 is having a demand of 180, for warehouse 2 it is 120 and for 3 it is 150. Whatever is given in this cell, these are called as unit transportation cost. For example, from F1 to W1, if you want to transfer the materials, the unit cost is 16 for one single material. We can multiply it with the total value. Similarly, from F1, if you want to transfer to W2, it is 20 unit cost and from F1 to W3, it is 12. So, in order for the remaining factories and warehouses. Now, the total aim, our aim in such kind of problems, which belongs to the category of transportation problems, is to minimize the total transportation cost. And here the method which we are using, it is the matrix minima method. For that, first of all, we have to check whether the total supply and total demand are equal. So, when we add up the values, the total supply is 450. The total demand also comes out to be 450. Since both are equal, the problem is called as off balance transportation type. So, it is a balanced balance transportation type of problem because the total supply and total demand are equal. If they are not equal, then we have to use some other measures like for example, add a dummy row or column depending upon the type of the problem. But now since here it is balanced transportation type, we can easily start with the problem. Now, how to start this since it is matrix minima method. So, from the matrix, the cell matrix which we have here, we have to select the minimum value. So, in this matrix, the minimum cell is having the value as 8. So, with that we have to start the problem. Now, when we are looking into this cell, the demand is of 120 whereas supply is of 160. So, demand can be met completely. So, I am writing 120 over here and since 120 will be subtracted from 160, what remains is 40. As the total demand is met, cancel this column completely. Next, whatever remains out of that, select the minimum value. So, when I look at the remaining values, 12 is the minimum value and for this cell, the demand is of 150 and supply is of 200. So, the demand can be completely met. I am writing 150 over here. From 200, 150 is subtracted. So, what remains is 50. The demand is completely met. So, this entire column can be cancelled. Next, out of the remaining values, check the next minimum value, which is 14. Demand is of 180 and supply is of 40. So, only 40 would be supplied over here. Demand is not completely met. 180 minus 40, that is 140. Since the supply is completed, I can cancel this entire row. Then two cells remain. Out of that, select the minimum value of cost which is there in the cell. Here we have 16. Demand is of 140, but supply is only of 50. So 50 would be supplied over here. From 140, 50 would be subtracted. So we have 90 over here. Now the demand is not completely met, but this supply is completed. So I can cancel this entire row. Next, only single cell remains here having unit cost 26. The demand is of 90 and supply is also of 90. So, the demand can be completely met. Cancel this entire column and supply is also been completed. Now, to get the total cost, which is the total transportation cost would be, I am assuming it to be in terms of rupees. It can be in any other currency as well. So, how to get it? Multiply the unit cost with the occupied value. Then next is 12 into 150, 14 into 40, 8 into 120, then 26 into 90. So when I add up all the values, the answer comes out to be, it is 6460 in terms of rupees. And this is giving us the unit cost. It means for example, this 16, it may be 16,000. So, here it is written only 16. So, at the end, we have to multiply the value with 1000 or if any other given values, it can be 1600, 
16,000, 16 lakh anything but here we are getting the unit cost and this is the total transportation cost by using the matrix minima method. At the end, if you will find my videos helpful, you all can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.